Well, let's get the show on the road then. No intro, uh, no intro jokes or anything, because there's something I just saw that I really want to talk about. Well, why is why does your controller suck? Joe, you gotta hit a button. Hit, hit no, Travis. Hit no. Oh, okay. Well, we have Kirby, like missing an eye, like missing part of his eye. Come on, hurry up. Alright, fine. Hey everybody, VG Shine here, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Star Allies! And we just saw the trailer to Devil May Cry 5, which looks, which I think looks really awesome. I have never played a Devil May Cry game, but yeah, the, tra the, the trailer it looks, looks pretty neat. Yeah, it looks very kind of outrageous and silly, I mean, though, I don't know, I, like, I'm actually kind of wondering... I'm sure we'll have an answer by the time that this video comes out, but I'm actually wondering if it's, like, a sequel to the Devil May Cry reboot, or if it's the sequel to Devil May Cry 4, because either way, it has, uh, Nero from Devil May Cry 4 with a robot arm. Eight? Hey. Yeah. Though, my question is, how did he lose his demon arm? Uh, was, did he not lose it in the actual... Like... No, he didn't. Hmm. And it was the source of his power, too, so... Mm. Like, there wasn't, like, like, an insane where he, like, uh, like, lose it and, like, a nope. sacrificial move or something. Nope. That's why I kind of think it might be a part of the... And the style does look, make look more like the uh, rebooted Devil May Cry game. Mm. And it also has, like, a didn't angel... People not, didn't, people, didn't people not like the reboot because... A lot of purists didn't like the reboot because it was too easy and the tone was a bit different. Also because he had like brown, like black hair as a white or something. Yeah, Doc, but honestly, I actually really liked the reboot. I mean, I think I liked the old Dante more than the new Dante, but the old Dante was actually a much better, a pretty good character. Yeah. Like he was, uh, like he had... Uh, we are probably missing out. Yeah, oh well. Stuff. Come on, hurry up. Uh, dang it, we're gonna be so underpowered, I don't know. But, uh, but like, it also, and yeah, it was easy compared to, say, Devil May Cry 4, but, like, first of all, it was the first sort of spectacle fighter game I played, so it and got me interested in the other Devil May Cry games, as well as Bayonetta, so, I don't know, is that really a bad thing? Yes, it's totally a bad thing. Well, fine, you can play like, one of the optional difficulty levels, then. Oh, uh, oh. I want to... I want to grab Alright. There we go. We have someone who can, like, break the leaves. There we go. Now I can break the leaves of my spear. Awesome. Yeah, I actually didn't think we... I mean, again, if that actually is Nero, I think it's been actually a long time since, uh... Like, Devil... You probably don't remember this, but Devil May Cry 4 was also pretty controversial, because, like, instead of Dante, they had a new character called uh, Nero as the main playable character for half the game. Dante was playable in the other half. But, uh... And so, so they kind of put like a like motor solid two, basically. Sort of, except that you know, when I say for half the game, I meant li actually the same half. Like right. you just played it backwards. Hmm. Yeah, it's Dante. So kind of like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yes, except not stupid. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like Dante had the ability, to, a bunch of stances to switch between, while Nero had this sort of demon arm that could grapple onto things. I, this, I like the wind power for my character. This is pretty cool. Like. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so... Like, and uh, my question is, like, where... If, if this is Devil May Cry 5 and that is Nero, then where's Dante? An interesting question. I mean, I think that he's at, actually went missing after Devil May Cry 2, which is the game in the series that everyone tries to prefer... that everyone agrees is bad. Like, everyone. But, uh, like, so he might, so this might actually be the latest game in the Devil May Cry timeline. Hmm, possibly. Or it could be another reboot. Who knows? Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that it's the, 
you know, a continuation of the reboot universe. And I know I'm probably not going to have a lot of, uh, you know, I'm guessing a lot of people aren't going to like me saying that. But I do kind of think that, but like, I also kind of hope that it's like a crossover between the, the reboot universe and the original Devil May Cry universe. Like, where old Dante and new Dante have to team up to, like, stop, I don't know, someone. It's like, they don't have the exact same powers, because, like, you know, so, whoops. So, because, like, you know, classic Dante is just half human, half demon, but reboot Dante is half human, half angel. Or, sorry, half demon, half angel. So... And like in the Devil May Cry reboot, you know, that actually was a major gameplay element, because you could use demonic and angelic weapons, and in fact had to in order to fight specific types of enemies. Well, we totally killed the forest. Good job, us. Yep, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, my bad, Mother Nature. Sorry, Yggdrasil. We, uh, for starting Ragnarok. Mm. Or something. So I think, like, stage four focuses, like, on the first half of, like, the, like, the Starform Heroes. And stage five is, like, the second half. Yep. And so basically it's, like, Harry Potter, like, part, like, Part 7, Part 1, and 2. Yeah. Or like, uh, The Hunger Games, Last Book, Part 1 and 2. Or like, The New Avengers movie, Part 1, and the next one, which is basically like a Part 2, sort of. Hmm. I'm not gonna spoil why. Alright. Though, by now, probably most of you have seen it, so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I haven't seen it. Well, that's why I said most of you. Nice. And you probably will have seen it by the time this video comes out anyway. Dang it! Oh, can't really have a vibe you because of the current. Oh well. Also, I should probably be careful because I'm about to die. Oh, I said careful. Careful me! Alright, gotta go with the That's how we win. Oh boy. Okay, I, I... Oh boy. Ah. Well, that's okay, we gotta attack. Okay, one of you guys should probably take the lead. Because I'm about to die. Uh, there we go. Yep. And, by the way, sorry for gushing about Devil May Cry 5 for a while. Like, I don't know. Well, we, to be I'm, fair, we didn't really have much else. Yeah, I am kind of disappointed that it's not on PlayStation 4, but it, I don't know, it might eventually be on PlayStation 4, but X, and, though I, and I can understand that, like, Xbox does need some, like, you know, exclusives right now, you know? Yep, because most games on Xbox can just get on PC. Well, I mean, it, except that, for the rare correction, which is the only game yeah, I regret, like not having on any other console. Yeah, it's like though. You, though the Devil May Cry Five is also coming to PC, so oh. how dare Microsoft want to actually make money for their exclusives? I mean, I guess it's still technically a Microsoft exclusive. Yeah. You know? I want Banjo Kazooie. In my lap again. Well, then you can always just emulate it. I don't want to. Okay, I need foods like my ads because of hoogies. I'm just gonna guard the whole time. Protect your leader. Wow, your guy's taking a long time to kill his fish. 
Alright, cool. I'll freaking array you then. Happy. Too many cooks, too many cooks, a too many cooks. It uh, takes a few to make a stew. I don't know the rest. Well, yeah, it goes for like 15 minutes, so I'd be surprised if you did know the rest. Talk about having too many cooks in the kitchen. Yes, that was the joke. We get it. You don't need to, you're not, your jokes are not like mind-blowing, Joe. <laughs> Especially when we literally just said them. <laughs> Well, I just said it differently than you guys did, so... Oh, okay, that... Okay, that totally just applies it, then. You liked my train of thought joke in, my, in the last video. Well, yes, but that's because it wasn't prompted by anything. Well, still. Yeah, but we'll never understand your train of thought. Hey, come on, I said the joke first. Whatever, it doesn't make it better. Oh, he made a he made a a cocktail in a pot. Yeah, yeah that's pretty talent that's pretty that's pretty amazing actually. Yeah, he's the best. And that's the checkpoint. And yeah, I think we'll have like enough time to finish the stage at least. Yep. Up. Oh, hey, remember this cave? No. Yep, no one remembers the cave. I mean, this caves are boring. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have to Speaking of which, oh, that just reminds me. They still haven't announced the Shin Megami Tensei next or whatever. Or, which is going to be on, whatever the next Shin Megami Tensei game is going to be on. Because we know it's going to be on the Switch. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I remember. We need, like, ice and throw and other stuff. Yeah, this game's making us fall into the right now. There we go. It's not D and D, but we'll do. Nah, <laughs> D do. Yeah. Yes, Prince uh, Kingson Dee Dee Doo. He's here to clean your clock. Do you remember that? Not really. No. Okay, there was a brawl in the fam <coughs> comic. Where there's this where there's this guy who looks like King Dee 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 in a trench coat and mustache. Comes to Kirby's house and is like, Yes, uh, my name is uh, King Son Dee Dee Doo. Well, and I'm here to clean. There. And I'm here to clean your clock. And then, you know, it cuts to him like literally cleaning Kirby's clock. And then he walks away and waves goodbye. And then King DDD -D -D spots him on the road and is like, Oh, hey, Kingston DDD. -D <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Uh, I don't think we can, like, get through the whole thing because we also need a painter. We should probably go do that now, then. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, we should throw, break these blocks first. Yep. Go. Hold up. 
Now throw. Friend throw! Yeah, sorry we're not talking much, we're just uh, trying to get just get through this as quick as possible. Alright. Up, throw, yeah, just throw him against the wall, move on. Move on with our lives. Alright, one more to go, and we gotta find the painter. Yeah, painter's the last one. In like Redmond or whatever. Uh, Red Redding. Yeah, Redding. yeah, it goes with Redding a lot. Why? I mean, to visit its folks, I guess. Oh, okay. He goes there like every other weekend. Alright. All that for a single lousy power up. <laughs> yeah. Though so we had to beat these areas. Well, anyway, now so. we're slightly faster. That's awesome. Yeah, we should go back to the cave. It's cold out here. Yeah, the cold doesn't bother me anyway. Oh, that reminds me! To the surprise of literally nobody, there's a, a frozen level in Kingdom Hearts 3! Yeah. Hold back your gasps of shock <laughs> that the Disney's most that the most popular it, film that Disney made in the past decade is being represented in Kingdom Hearts 3. I can want it better. Eh, well, like I think that, well, I don't get well Frozen is still pretty good though. Yeah, is it like is it like a music level like in like Atlantica? I hope not. <laughs> but I, but like, I don't know. Like, honestly, though, I think uh, I like Tangled better, personally. Mm. But there's that's also going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3, so... Actually, yeah, that oh. was one of the first ones they announced. Yeah. No word on a Moana level, though. Which is a shame. Because that would be freaking awesome. Now, actually, I'd want to see a princess in the frog level. Because, mm. like, I think New Orleans would make a really cool level, you know? Yeah. Didn't that movie take mostly take place in a swamp? Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. You can't just go to like you can't just have a level set in New Orleans. Like that would still be pretty cool though. Like it's sort of cool magic swamp full of like I don't know, heartless shaped like lightning bugs and stuff. Hmm. That would be interesting actually. Alright. And like a boss fight against a giant mosquito. Mosquito Henry. Don't know, don't know why I said that just now. It just randomly popped up in my head. Henry! Oh my god! You should you should play that clip. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about? No. Nope. I'll show you later. Alright. I'm almost dead, by the way. Yeah, like if uh, Dave were here, he'd probably know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, Dave's uh, Dave has been here for a long time. Yeah, how's he been doing anyway? Well, I mean, he's, and he's going well. We're actually gonna go like pack so west together. Oh sweet! Oh, Dave's going with you too. Yeah, and you be, I but you, you did, and you, you didn't invite me, him, right? Uh, 
I mean, I happened to he happened to be the room that was like getting tickets, and he got himself tickets. Ah, well, and okay. We're, we're so it was like kind of like spur of the moment type thing. All right, all right. Just make sure to invite me next time, okay? All right. I Where's know. it gonna be again? Uh, Seattle, Washington. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I did go to uh, like uh, Fanime, so. Oh yeah. I don't know if we mentioned this, we did like a JoJo, like escape the room type deal. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I think that same, uh, I think, maybe, that, I think that same company also did like a, uh, the, like, Legend of Zelda escape room game. Yeah, I like, point. I like to do one of those at some point. Yeah. Okay, this one's about timing. That was not good timing. That's not good timing either. Okay. That was okay timing. Cool. We're faster now. Alright, don't need an elevator. We can just fly to victory. Or at least jumping really good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, basically like the, like, like the moonwalk or something. Mo I like whatever that moon's called from One Piece. I was thinking more of like that episode of Samurai Jack. Oh yeah, I'm watching. I, I'm in the middle of watching that, like, so, oh. but they don't have like the last like adult swim season. I heard that was really good, actually. Yeah. There we go. Team Rocket's blasting off again! How have they not been fired yet? Well, I mean, he does kinda, like, it's not like Highness is all in his right mind. All this time about Team Rocket. Oh. Well, probably because they actually have accomplished some stuff, like, especially during, like, especially uh, what, during the, uh, their time escapades in Unova. Actually, proved but, some, some but they failed so that. many times back. Like, yeah, but I mean, then. like all of Team Rocket has kind of a uh, doesn't really have a good, I don't know, success rate anyway. Like, especially, especially like, uh, like um, movie villains. Mm. Well, I thought I thought there was like a power up behind them or something. Like, I mean. No, have you ever remembered any te a member of Team Rocket actually succeeding? Like, uh, not just... I would imagine a lot not of Not just the terrible on... trio. I would imagine, like, some of them, like, succeeding, like, in a, in, like, like little boys out around a little ordinary thing. Well, that's kind of my point. Like, you can't be so hard on the terrible trio when, like, you know, they're, when the success rate for Team... when the little kids seem to be the number one enemy to Team Rocket members anyway. <laughs> and here's another thing. When... You get, if, they, if they collect so much so many rare Pokemon, get, why do half of them, like, only use Zubats? Oh, crap, we don't have fire, do we? No. We also need an umbrella for the... No, we had add, we, could, we just need to freeze the waterfall, but oh well. Yeah. Probably, well, probably get... Well, like, for Team Skull, it's because they're in, actually incompetent. But uh, Team Rocket, yeah, I know. They j probably just... Probably it's because they, uh, like, are selling all those rare Pokemon on the black market that they, uh... Right. Only use Zubats or something. Hmm. Well, I keep forgetting with who I am. Dang it. Yeah, I am totally not confident. I was gonna say like that wall is closing in on us. We better call C three three O. Yeah, 
Yeah, the skull guys are actually kind of adorable when they lose their hats. Yep. Yep, that's the reason why they wear hats, because they won't be anything otherwise. Alright, cool. Low for everything. Alright. And we're almost there. Yeah. Alright. Final boss, I think, for the stage, I think. Alright. Alright, Crackle, time to crack open, like, your innards, whatever they are. I don't even know what Krakow is. If you think of, I mean, if you think about it, it's an eyeball with spikes in a cloud or something. Is he a cloud or an eyeball? Yeah, that's my question. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can freeze him. I forgot. I forgot I had the ice powers. Yep. And then that stage four completed just in time for the end of this episode. Oh, so yep. thank you guys so much for watching, and now it's time for the V Shiny Pro Tip of the Day! Let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Alright, this one was also submitted by uh, Okay, this one was also submitted by DM Moore 2003. Don't play Smash Brothers, it's dangerous to play alone. And then like Seven different go seven ghost emojis. Yep. All right. So see you guys next time for the final stage of the of the Star Allies, or like the guest star mode. All right. See you guys next time. Bye bye.